Hipper here, and uh, welcome to the second episode of the Community Update. Uh, I've got a few things to go through this week, so uh, let's get started. Alright, so uh, first up here, let's uh, all congratulate everybody's favorite streamer, let him peak here, by uh, reaching a milestone on his uh, channel. And uh, I'm not really sure what these numbers mean, but apparently he has beaten his own audience record. And uh, why is that newsworthy, you may ask? And that is a very good question. It means that Peak has actually beaten his own mom's baking channel. Alright, so uh, up next is the fact that we are getting not one, but two new premium tier 7 destroyers uh, after the next update. So the first is the German ZF6, and uh, yeah, you'll have a pretty quick look at it here. The other destroyer is the new Italian uh, tier 7 destroyer, which is called the Paolo Emilio. And um, this particular destroyer here will be available for global XP. I don't know how much yet, but I'm guessing 750,000 since it is a tier 7 ship. Um, while the ZF6, the German destroyer from before, will be the campaign price uh, for after the next update. So uh, these ships, these two uh, high tier destroyers here, they already exist on PC. And uh, when that's the case on Legends, I usually uh, head off to uh, Little White Mouse's uh, reviews to get a bit of a uh, feel for these new ships here. So uh, let's just have a look at what she says. Now uh, I, uh, I trust uh, Little White Mouse the most of all the ship reviewers in uh, the game, although she's actually PC based, but she's usually uh, quite on uh, on target, and uh, she knows the same thing that I was a little bit puzzled about that the fact that this destroyer doesn't have a sonar, um, and uh, she refers to it as Fletcher with extra steps, and uh, that sounds reasonable to me. Um, I guess we'll find out when the ship comes out, but uh, it looks like a fairly difficult destroyer to do well in. So uh, bear in mind that these uh, are for the PC versions of the ships, so they might actually change. Uh, for example, uh, Paolo Emilio uh, doesn't have the rolling smoke on uh, Legends. Uh, it could change uh, by the time they release the ship, but right now it does have the. It just has the normal smoke. Uh, and also, again, Paolo Emilio is not an easy ship to play. Uh, it has the nickname that is Yolo Emilio because it's very fast. It has short-range torps, and uh, the guns are pretty me um so honestly i think it would be a worst tash kent uh, i guess we'll find out when the ship comes out uh, and also the fact that we don't have any italian destroyer commanders so um that will also be a question for the update and if we don't get any i would probably put mimbelli on here to uh, uh increase the speed and the rudder of the already very very fast destroyer here and uh, speaking of fast ships, uh, the Sailing Robin, the community manager, um, did a uh, how-to on uh, Kabarovsk here a few days ago. And uh, I immediately noticed that other than him having the biggest hair in Legends, uh, but then other than that, I noticed that he's actually uh, using a very similar build to uh, what I do in my, uh, uh, on my Kabarovsk and my Tashkent. So he's using the double rudder here. Um, and uh, that's the same thing I do. And if that's not enough, he's also using Makarov and almost exactly the same build that I do, depending on if I have uh, the smoke loaded or the heel loaded on Kabarovsk. So uh, if you've been sitting on the fence uh, in relation to these builds, you're not really sure if you want to try them out. Uh, I think you should at least give it a go now. And as you can see from uh, Robin's results here, then uh, obviously it is a very competitive build. So uh, don't be afraid to try it out. Okay, so next up is a work of love by uh, Papa Nicholas that uh, is available on the wowsbuilds.com website. So just type in wowsbuilds.com slash rating and uh, you'll be able to enter your stats from your service record statistics screen. Uh, and by doing that, you'll find uh, out what your rating is according to uh, Papa's scale. 
So this is obviously just an example here, and uh, because it's an example, I'm using uh, Aaron's stats here because I know what they are. So we'll just enter those and see how he does. No, obviously, that is a joke. But uh, anyway, uh, just remember that um, uh, the average potential damage here in the game is bugged at the moment. So whatever you're putting in here for some players is wrong and for some other players it's actually right. Um, so just keep that in mind. But uh, other than that, this is a great uh, attempt at some sort of rating system and uh, thank you Papa Nicholas for uh, attempting this. So uh, clearly with those stats uh, it looks like Aaron should probably stick to uh, torpedo polishing for now. Okay, so the next thing I chose was this screenshot here that was tweeted by Wargaming a few days ago. And it gives us the five most popular ships, um, like in each class, battlesh battleships, cruisers and destroyers. And uh, it's not very interesting in itself. Um, what it does tell me though, is that uh, most players probably don't make it very far in this game. Um, there's only one single ship at tier 6 and uh, no tier 7s at all and most of them are tier 3 and tier 4, uh, a few tier 5s as well. So uh, what this tells me is that most players who uh, start playing this game here, they don't make it very far. It seems that they play tier 1, 2, 3, 4 and perhaps 5 and then it looks like they get tired of the game, uh, which is a shame of course. Uh, because we could definitely use more players at tier 7 and uh, legendary as well. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm not sh sure what to do about this, but uh, it is an interesting insight. Okay, so I guess that's enough news for this week here. So we'll move on to the best clip and the best game of this week here. And uh, I was sent this clip here by Ash a Cock for Life. Um, and I thought it was hilarious. Uh, if you look here, there's just one destroyer left. And he shoots one salvo out there, not even a salvo, he shoots one gun just randomly into the cap and uh, not expecting anything of course and he actually ends up hitting the destroyer. I thought it's just an amazing shot. So uh, you guys sent me a lot of uh, good impressive games over the last week and I picked this one here from Big Daddy, uh, which I know is an Ochako battle but it is still nearly 260,000 damage, 4 kills, high caliber and confederate. So definitely not a bad game at all. So uh, please keep the games coming and uh, I'll pick a few every week. So uh, lastly, and I know this is pretty bad quality, but I just wanted to add this screenshot in here as well that I randomly saw on Facebook as I thought it was really funny. We've all been in those situations where you're the last ship left and just being chased like in this situation here by no less than five enemy battleships. Okay, so that brings us to the weekly winch here. And uh, this time I found a uh, comment on Discord that I actually agree with. And uh, it's all about having specific commander builds for each ship. Uh, I know you all have tried how annoying it is to uh, use the same commander on two different ships, but you want a slightly different build. So you have to go in and change the inspirations and the perks and everything around and use your commander XP doing it. and. Uh, yeah, it's just annoying. So I really think that uh, Wargaming should should fix this one here. It's quite important. All right, so before we get into the weekly hate mail, I just want to thank you for your contributions, but I also want to underline that I'm only going to put up hate mail that's funny. I'm not going to put up anything that's mean or with swear words or anything like that. That's not the point. This is supposed to be amusing, uh, not mean. So for example, like this one here that one of you guys sent me as a contribution. <laughs> And I just think it's just so weird. Like, who would send a message like this? And what is even the purpose of it? I mean, <laughs> it makes no sense to me. So uh, that was the second episode of the community update, guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So of course, I'll do another one next week. But just keep in mind that next week is uh, update week. And we'll have patch notes as well. So uh, it could be a lengthy one. But uh, I guess that's a good thing. So uh, see you then.